Well, thank you for having me. I'm Lucas. I'm head of institutional relations and legal at Estimulo. Estimulo is an impact-driven credit fund for SMEs in Brazil. We work with a blended finance structure, so serving everyone from philanthropists to investors seeking financial returns. I just participated in a panel about blended finance for the missing middle, SMEs. It started during the pandemic. At the height of the pandemic, we got like 50 leaders of Brazil gathered in a Zoom meeting with one mission, save jobs. Uh, so empower SMEs and reduce mass unemployment through a digital solution, financial and non-financial support. Basically, we had uh, a big, a unique collaboration among companies, individual donors, foundations, family offices, and even banks provided us with catalytic capital to start this, the, the relief fund. And then afterwards, after one year, uh, we were really surprised about the results. We were expecting something like 40 to 50% default, and we got 3%. So when we were starting to think, how do, do we take this further? And then we, we structured a blended finance uh, vehicle, a credit investment fund, so that we could also fundraise for impact investments and scale philanthropy. At first, it was really um, funded by individual uh, donors, family enterprises of Brazil, and also big corporations. On the, when, we, when we structured the fund, family offices came, um, companies investors invested directly in us, such as Localiza, which is a big rental company, a listed company in Brazil, Energiza, a, a, a energy distrib distribution, Banco Inter, which is a digital bank, so it's really widespread, widespread and several different types of, of investors in our fund. The, the, the blended structure is basically a FIGIC in Brazil, which is a credit investments fund. Uh, we own, as an NGO, the subordinated quotas and we fundraise on the senior quotas. So that way the senior investors have 50% of subordinated capital protecting them from defaults. Um, we are in 10 states of Brazil, so there's other uh, 16 left to go. Um, uh, since 2020, we provided over $40 million in financial support to SMEs, impacting over 3,400 SMEs, especially in underserved regions of Brazil. 40 million US. To, $200 million uh, reais. The impact economy in Brazil is, is rising. Uh, we have um, now the N Impacto, which is a national strategy uh, that is driving the, the economy on a federal level, a state level, and a municipality level universities, so it's booming a lot, especially with all the attention we're having uh, because of G20, COP30, and there are lots of movement uh, at this point in Brazil, especially because the financial market is increasingly interest in innovative financing structures with the social sector. I believe that there's an opportunity with the continuum of capital for entrepreneurs. Uh, um, countries such as these states have vehicles specific to the needs of entrepreneurs throughout the whole journey and also specific to uh, types of entrepreneur, either startups or real economy. Uh, I think there's an opportunity to increase and improve our financing uh, structure uh, especially considering the really developed capital markets of Brazil. We are one of the highest, uh, biggest, uh, um, biggest capital markets uh, in, in the country and it's quite uh, developed compared to other Latin America. So there's an opportunity to, to, to leverage that ecosystem with other financing uh, structures. And also there's an opportunity uh, on productivity and efficiency. Although we are an entrepreneurial uh, uh, country, uh, the, the uh, productivity per headcount is not that high. 
So there's an, 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 an opportunity to invest in digitalization and also um, SaaS systems as a service for SMEs to increase productivity.